Hi everyone! If you're new to my channel, my name is Julia Surface and I am a rising sophomore at the University of Tennessee Knoxville. And today I am feeling really inspired because I just went dorm shopping a couple days ago to get some decorative pillows. So I'm gonna do kind of a marble fluid art. I think people call it different things. Artwork piece for my dorm room, which I'm super excited about. My canvas is pretty big, so I have decided to do it outside on my front porch where I have lots of space and it's covered so it can dry properly because I think it takes about a day or so to dry because it's just so thick but yes I have a huge canvas so I'm gonna have to lay out like a ton of newspaper to make sure that the paint doesn't get on the brick but I'm super excited to try this out I've never done this before so this is like gonna be my first time ever doing anything like this a newspaper and then this is my canvas it's pretty big and I'm hoping that this newspaper will cover everything but I may need more So this is my setup right now and I'm getting ready to go get the acrylic paints and start mixing them. So the colors in my dorm room are lavender, gold, and gray, but I think I'm going to add a couple more colors in there to kind of just spice it up a little bit and make my wall a little bit more dynamic. I'm thinking of using blue just because I feel like blue is a really good color that goes with purple. And then definitely want to use this gold color because we have a lot of gold in our room. And then definitely want to use the lavender because that is literally the color of our room. And then this pink also looks really good with purple, so definitely want to use that. And then definitely white. I've heard that the white makes your marble painting look really dynamic, so definitely want to use this too. So with mine, I'm going to do kind of like a dish soap water mixture because that's kind of what makes those little bubbles. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just playing around experimenting, but we're going to see how this turns out. I'm just taking some Dawn dish soap and I'm doing about five drops of the dish soap into the water bottle. And you can see right now I'm just lightly shaking the water bottle with the soap, just going back and forth with it just so that the soap and the water blend together. Now I am pouring my gold paint into the solo cup. And this first time that I did it, I didn't do enough, but I just wanted to start out and see how everything would turn out. After that, I took my dish soap water mixture and poured it into the solo cup to make the consistency thinner, kind of more like a watery consistency. And then I use a plastic fork to stir the water and paint together. And as you can see, it's definitely much thinner and that's kind of what you want the consistency to look like. So basically, I'm just going to repeat that same process for all of my colors. Right now, I'm pouring in the lavender paint, and I'll do the exact same thing for the pink paint and the white paint. And you're just going to continue doing the same steps, adding in your water dish soap mixture and stirring it to get that kind of watery consistency. Here I'm just adding in more of the gold paint because like I said before, I didn't put enough in and I had a bigger canvas so I really needed to make sure that I put enough gold paint in there to be able to cover the canvas. And here I am just adding more purple because like I said about the gold, I really need to make sure I covered my entire canvas with paint.
I just want to add in that it really does not matter the ratio of your paint and water mixture. That is completely up to you and how you want to do that. However, if you're using a thinner acrylic paint, I would use more of the paint and less of the water soap mixture. But if you're using a thicker acrylic paint, I would use less of the paint and more of the water soap mixture to make it more of that watery consistency. Okay, so this is what my cups look like right now. So I have a little bit more purple and white and pink, I feel like. And then I added some yellow and orange in this gold because the paint was just kind of thin and I kind of wanted the gold to be a little bit more vibrant. I'm actually about to add some of these gold sparkles in here just to you know, be creative, add something different to it. So we'll see how that turns out. So sorry guys for the noise. My neighbors are actually doing yard work right now. But what I'm about to do is I'm about to put some cups underneath my canvas to make it elevated so that the paint can kind of drip to the sides easier. So here's my setup. I have my kind of goldy orange after some sparkles pink, blue, purple, and white. And then I have these two cups right here that I'm going to pour each of the colors in and mix them together. I'm gonna use these two cello cups, like I said, and I'm gonna start layering the paint and pouring it in. And here you can see I am just shaking the excess paint in the cups onto the blank part of the canvas because you want to utilize as much paint as possible. And now I'm just going to move it around the canvas. This is in product and I'm honestly so happy with how it turned out. So what I did on the edges, I just kind of took some of the excess paint and put it on there. As you can tell, it's still like drip drying right now. It'll probably take a day or even more for it to dry, but I just love all the colors in it and I'm really excited to hang it in my dorm room. So that's it for the DIY. Alex helped me film for the last bit of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. I literally had no idea what I was doing so anybody can do it it's so easy and I hope to see you guys in another video very soon bye, bye.